Hey guys, Brandon here, coming at you with another MLB The Show video. Today I thought I'd talk about the... On the 7th, we got May flashbacks coming, so I figured we'd talk about some May flashbacks. Uh, stream tomorrow, or they release the players actually, so I'd give my uh, predictions for the monthly awards, and we'll see what's going on. So, for the first thing, I tried to stick to the script and do uh, just three diamonds, five golds like they did in the last one. So, I assume they're going to stick to that trend. So that's what I went for. For first people, we have the golds. In no particular order, they don't really matter. Uh... I'm not sure if they're going to give uh, diamond players golds, but uh, I went based off who actually got the awards in the MLB and see if uh, those matched up with who they actually picked or if they do any research on their own to give people uh, who don't have good cards new cards. Uh, we got Josh Hader. He was one of the relievers of the month for, I guess, last month with May. So, for May, he was one of the relievers of the month, like I just said. Uh, so that's why he's on the list. And uh, along with him, we have another diamond who is on the list for the relievers of the month. Uh, we have... Araldus Chapman. So if they do decide that they want to give gold cards to these guys, uh, it might be a little bit of a... A move to go with these guys as gold cards just because they're a whole lot cheaper than they would be if they were the diamond cards. A little bit worse, but having an Araldus Chapman gold card uh, wouldn't be bad for most teams since there's a lack of lefties. Those are two lefties they could put in the game. And I could see that actually happening, so that's why they're on the list at 5 and 4. Uh, next we have... Wow, there's a lot of Austins, believe it or not. We got Austin Riley. He already got a Future Stars card, but he was also named the Rookie of the Month. So, he's on the list. Uh, I could see him getting a gold card. He's got a bronze card. And, uh, you could see him come out with a gold card to match his diamond card. And, uh, maybe be a little bit cheaper than this card is currently. So, I could see them making a card of him. Also, we have either Michael Chavis or Mark Michael Chavis. Uh, not quite sure which way it goes, but uh, he was also one of the rookies of the month. This one, the American League one, obviously. I could see him going for uh, one of these gold cards. He, th none of these people did. Uh, I feel like we're the best, so that's why they are just in the gold for me. Plus, the two of them already had diamond cards, so I could see them just coming out with a little bit of a lower-ranked card for them. Maybe to make it a little bit more inexpensive for those people who don't have the 40,000 stubs they spend on the other guys. And for the last one, the gold. We have the White Sox pitcher who's doing great this year. Uh, Lucas Giolito. So, for him, uh, he's actually doing really well. Uh, I was thinking about uh, him being the high gold in the group. Uh, I could see him getting a nice gold card for the players of the month. Uh, he's pitched really well for the White Sox, but uh, let's move on to the Diamonds, the people that people care about, the players that the people in this game care about. Diamonds, pulling those diamonds from the pack. If you didn't know, uh, Hunjin Ryu, he's doing phenomenal. Uh, these are obviously in no particular order either, just because they're all like one overall away from each other anyway, and that doesn't even really document the price. So we got Ryu uh, coming in. He's going to be a diamond for, or <laughs> not he's going to be, but uh, I could see him being a diamond. So 
Yeah, that's why he's in the top three for the diamond running, I feel like. So the next one we have Raphael Devers. Devers is one of those great people uh, who've been hitting really well. He hit 351 last month, so I could see him getting one of the diamond cards. And uh, that just leaves us with one guy. Since uh, he hit 351, this guy's got to hit a little bit better than 351. And he did. So we're going with Josh Bell. Josh Bell, uh, 390 last month. So I could see him getting one of the higher of the diamond cards if that, if they are even a different. There's only a one. There was like a 80, 87, 87, 88. I'm pretty sure last time with the diamonds. So there's only one person who's even higher than the rest. But I feel like Josh Bell would be that guy. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing if all these people get cards in this. And uh, I do think the diamonds are pretty good, min plus or minus uh, Ryu. But I'm pretty sure Josh Bell and Raphael Devers will get the diamond cards. And I guess we'll only time will tell. We'll see who's going to get it, actually. And that's actually all I have for you guys today. So if you guys enjoyed consider subscribing for stub making methods tips tricks tutorials i got anything for you i upload daily and thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video see you then